I'm receiving an announcement that there is breaking news from our stewardship team. What's that? It's stewardship time. Stewardship update with Joe Brinkley and Don Conte. Welcome to Stewardship Update. In this stewardship season, it's important to stay safe. Recently, the thoughtful and timely message on our United Church and University Place Reader Board went viral and even made the local news on Q13. While the board itself has gone viral, it's important to note that our Sunday services have gone virtual, not viral. In other local news, United Church's own Dave Higby and Don Thompson competed as building contractors, replacing the siding panel on the back of the church. They got excellent scores from the judges for technical execution and artistic flair. And Dave got a perfect 10 for his dismount. Wait, Don. Don, I think we have another breaking news bulletin from our reporter in the field, Pamela Mattis. Pamela? Joe and Don, breaking news. The year 2020 has many of us rereading the book of Revelations. Our president, Marilyn Thompson, was installed in January at the annual meeting and offered a budget with expenses totaling $191,364 to cover our anticipated expenses for our staff, physical space, our ministries through the United Church of Christ and the United Methodist Church and our local benevolences, resulting in a deficit of $8,990, which was passed hoping for additional contributions throughout the year to make up the difference. The COVID pandemic caused us to start meeting at a distance with a much appreciated leadership from our pastor who would have shepherded us through new technology, new technology and distant worshiping. We have still gathered together on Sundays and maintained our committee meetings and service to many. We currently have a $12,000 surplus for the year due to our giving and the help of a payroll protection program loan and grant and a generous memorial bequest that without the grant and bequest, we would only have a $1,069 surplus. While we have operated in our usual fashion needing to keep the building warm, we have also had more need from our members and those outside of our contribution and the year isn't over yet. We have maintained a 100% of the financial commitments made and we are on pace to end the year, hopefully, breaking even. Back to you, Joe and Don. Thank you, Pamela, for your stewardship report. Now for our weekly stewardship message from our own Jana, Hosanna, Anna, Dana. Here we are back again with another scintillating stewardship update interview. I, Jana, Hosanna, Anna, Dana, have been lucky enough to find the one and only Deuteronomy Dennis a prodigious prospector worth his weight in gold. How are you today, Mr. Prospector? Well, I'm just fine, Ms. Anna Dana, and I'm very happy to be here and greet all these fine folks in church today. Happy to have you join us on our Zoomathon. There are lots of people here this morning wondering what a prospector, such as yourself, would be looking for in the area around United Church. Did you find anything curious or interesting? Yes, there are certainly plenty of interesting and unique specimens to dig up nearby. Around these parts, you might find pretty carnelian agates like this one. You might find common opal like this one. You might find jasper in all kinds of colors. You might even find some petrified wood. Or if you were really lucky, you might find some gold. Well, this here is fool's gold called pyrite, but it sure is shiny. I, Jana, Hosanna, Anna, Dana, admit that is some special find. But do you ever find any real gold in them thar roundabouts? Oh, for golly sakes, yes. I found a church on the corner that struck gold this very year. It is just what a prospector hopes to find. The people in this church 
seem to know exactly where their treasure lies. Remarkable. Do you think they might find silver and gold? Yes, that always happens when new folks arrive. You know what they say. One is silver and the other is gold. They must be very rich indeed. How do they spend all that treasure? Well, true, they are very rich in spirit and they pool their time, talent, treasure and passion to spread that spirit serving and caring for others. Before this varmint virus went running amok, me and my family, we used to like to sing in the church choir there, contribute food to help hungry families, and participate in the Livingstones prison ministry. Fortunately, thanks to that newfangled technology, we can still sing the Lord's praises by recording music for the virtual services, as well as contribute money electronically to the church. And we can still drop off food for the hungry in the box outside the church and continue to connect with one another by the telephone, email, and using that Zoom thing to meet virtually. In a word, we hit the spiritual mother load when we found you, Cup. Thank you for that most generous and thought-provoking interview. You are a prolific prophet of prospecting. Those little gems you shared today have made us all rich in spirit. Bless you. So I, Jana Hosanna Anadana, learned something again today. Along with last week's joy lesson, I have this week's precious gift of gold. Something more to share and give to others. Hallelujah. Back to you boys over there on the anchor desk. Thank you, Jana, Hosanna, or Anna, Dana, for that insightful interview with Deuteronomy De Dennis. Live from United Church, it's stewardship, stewardship time. time. I don't know about you all, but I think that this church puts on the best stewardship themes and skits. Bravo. <laughs> 